Hi guys, my name is Ermitan the Forest. This is my unboxing of Laser Squad. Laser Squad is a science fiction uh, turn-based tactical strategy game with role-playing elements featuring top-down view uh, where you control a squad of space marines and have to complete various missions like fighting aliens and droids and such. Uh, the game was developed by Target Games, led by Julian Golop, who later renamed to Mythos Games and developed XCOM series. So, uh, this game is an indirect prequel to XCOM series, and originally the first XCOM game uh, that was called UFO Defense, or in Europe UFO Enemy Unknown, was developed as uh, Laser Squad 2, and later, as the concept was changed, um, it was renamed to XCOM, however, it was uh, heavily inspired in gameplay by Laser Squad. Um, there are, uh, the game was originally released for ZX Spectrum and later ported to other systems, and originally there were three missions. Afterwards, um, an add-on with additional two missions was released, and when it was ported, for example, for IBM PC for this version, it included also those two missions. So this one, uh, this version includes five missions and on top of that there were another uh, two missions that were the second add-on. So in total there are uh, seven uh, available missions. However, this release only includes five. Mm, it uh, brought uh, many uh, new features uh, like the action points and opportunity fire. So uh, that means that if you had enough uh, uh, spare action points um, before ending your uh, move in turn-based combat and some enemy had a turn and came into line of sight you could actually fire at him so uh, you could stand your ground and uh, fire at aliens while uh, they made their moves this was quite a new thing at the time uh, let's take a look at a box art now it's very nice, this is the European release of the game, published by Chrysalis. On the back side we can see some text about the game and pictures from the game in various European languages, in English, in German, in French and in Italian. Quite nice. Okay, if I open the box inside First of all, we do have the game itself. It comes on three, three and a half inches discs. This is disc one, here's disc two, and finally disc three. Then we have a registration card from the publisher, from Chrysalis, that you could fill in and send back. And the last thing is the game manual, that is quite unusual format. Looks like this. Yeah, here you can see the credits, based on an original concept by Julian Golop. And here, the people who participated in making it. Something about installation, setup and such. Yeah, this is all about technical stuff. And here we get finally to playing the game. The missions were to eliminate the enemy or to retrieve some item, some important one, and escape with it and such. Yeah. So there were various types of those. Yeah. And as you can see, the manual is only in English, so although the box was probably distributed throughout Europe, however the manual was only the manual was only for a particular country okay, so something about the missions mission 1, mission 2, mission 3 the briefings yeah, as you can see there are 5 in total and here's some table. Okay, on the back side we can see some pictures from the game. 
And that is all that was part of this box release. I thank you very much for watching this video.